Well, it's six o'clock here, so I think it's time for a beer and splining some fairways. Now, fairways, you got a lot of decisions when it comes to fairways, and they can get a little tricky. I'm going to walk you through, uh, hopefully, a couple of the options, uh, just enough that you guys can understand this and maybe make your make your own decisions on how you want to approach your course. All right, so let's go into Inkscape. Uh, so we have our tee boxes, our bunkers, our greens, and then we have this surrounding rough area that we did so that we could get at least a cut through Blender and see how that works. So this is an advantage that if you do folders, I can just come up here to surrounding rough and I can turn off that folder and then the surrounding rough disappears and I can see my satellite overlay again. Cool. And so how are we going to approach this fairway right here? Um, you can see it comes all the way back here. It tends to come around. Looks like it goes up around these bunkers. Then over here it goes through this bunker. And then it looks like it goes around our green. Okay. Now, you can do things like fairway go all the way around the green. You can also do a semi-rough around the green. It really depends on how many of these layers you want to go through. Or. In my case, looking at this course, it looks like the, it's just fairway and rough, and that this fairway goes around the green. But maybe you want a semi-rough. The principles I'm going to teach you right now will work. It's just a matter of which one of these palette colors you pick down here um, and, and what you want to do. So let me sh first show you just doing a fairway around the green. So there's how I like to do it. I'm going to go up here to the selector tool and I'm going to select this green here. And when I do that, and I can see that it's selected, I'm going to hit control B and now it duplicates it. I have two of those now. One of them is that's path 19 right here, because if I turn that off, doesn't look like anything happened. Well, that's because the other one is path 5. 19 and 5 are the exact same thing right now. Okay. Now, you got to be careful because if you don't do anything with this 19, you have a duplicate and this will cause errors inside of Clender. It sometimes it detects them, sometimes it doesn't. So just be careful when you're making duplicates that you work with them and you make sure they're not duplicates in the end. So I'm going to turn path 19 back on and I'm going to highlight it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to outset it. And we might have seen in the theory about setting up your preferences for outset. Um, if not, you need to go back and watch some of the Inkscape theory videos. But if I hit control and then zero, you can see that that starts to expand and go out. Okay. And if I hit control nine, it goes in. Now, what? let's see. Let's change the color of this to fairway. Now you're going to be able to see it much easier when I go in. It's smaller, and if I go out, it goes bigger than the green and goes out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out until it reaches this outer this border of the fairway right here. So I'm going to expand this out, keep going right about there. Now, I've got to be careful here because this is really browsing this bunker right here. Remember I said don't get too cute? So I'm going to move that in just a tad. That's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the... Uh, page down and after I do that for a while you'll see that it'll eventually go beneath the green and now you can see that that is underneath the green so the green will cut through it so we have a little bit of fairway strip a fairway around there now we need to draw the rest of the fairway so let me come back to my draw tool make sure I'm in my hole 10 and I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to start right about here and start drawing out. And I'm going to kind of trace the outside of here. And then I'm going to go out through this bunker, which is where I think that fairway goes. And I'm just going to trace out the rest of this fairway. And you're going to be bored watching me trace out this big, gigantic fairway. There we go, getting towards the end here. Now here at the bunkers, I have to make a decision. Go through or around. I'm going to go around. 
I avoid cutting through anything with a blend as much as possible because it saves me work later on. And by work, that's why I'm saying for you guys to only do a couple holes so that you can see how these things look later on in Unity. And you can make intelligent decisions when you come back to do the rest of your stuff. So this one, I really don't have much of a choice. I can go around, but that's eh, it's going to look kind of funny. So I'm going to go through this bunker. I'm going to come out right here. And I'm going to hit the edge of this fairway shape and then connect it back together. Ooh, I don't like the way that looked. All right. Now you can see that fairway, though, is on top. So I'm going to come to my over here and I can hit page down. You can see it starts to move down. I'm going to put it all the way at the bottom of this folder. All right, that looks pretty good. So now you can see I've got my fairway, the fairway color, and it comes and it wraps around. Now, this is where things also get a little tricky. Now I've got two different fairways. I've got the one here that's around the green, that one, and I got this big one. I'm going to merge these together. Now, how do I do that? So I'm going to highlight the one around the green, hold down shift, highlight the large one, come up here to path and union. Now this can cause a lot of problems. So this is where we need to be careful. Let's go back up to our node tool and where these things were touching, we need to make sure we don't have any double nodes or anything really kind of funky here. So you can see this is where these were joined together. Do I have any double nodes here? Nope. 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 I'm going to highlight those and I'm going to smooth them out. That looks pretty good. Same thing down here where they're joined together. Any double nodes? Double nodes? Nope. I'm going to highlight those and I'm just going to smooth them out. So that looks pretty good. So I've got that fairway and that bunker. Let me just show you guys one more. So this is our other hole. Let me go to hole 11 now. I'm going to select this green. Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to change it to fairway. Control 0. Expand, 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 expand. One more, I think. Yep, that's good. I'm going to page down. All right, now it's underneath the green. Pen tool here. I'm going to go through this bunker too. I don't like to, but it's, it is what it is. Like we always say, just take some artistic liberties. No one's going to know that you didn't trace something exactly right. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go through this bunker. Trace around and finish that off. Come over here and I'm going to page down. Ah, sometimes if you're not in the right tool, I'm paging down. Go to the pointer tool, select it. I can page down. You can see it's on the bottom now. I'm going to shift. Make sure you got the right. Yep, I got those together. Path, union node tool, zoom in, that looks okay, smooth them out, same thing over here, smooth it out, and that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is let me turn my surrounding rough on again, and I'm going to send this through the clender. Make sure that my fairways are done correctly. Okay. Now, before I do that, I want to show you one last final thing about semis. Okay. For example, if you want to put a semi rough around this, let's just do this one right here. Same principles. I'm going to highlight this. Now I've had this fairway highlighted. Okay. I'm going to duplicate it. Now on top, I'm going to change it to semi rough. And I'm also going to expand it. And you have to decide how much. I did four, which is about two meters, based on my uh, inset outset parameters I have. 
you should have looked at the uh, if the, the the Inkscape theory video show you how to set that. Now you can see there it is. I'm going to send this down to the bottom by hitting end. All right, or page down. Page down. There we go. I'm going to go all the way down. Now you can see here I've got a fairway, I've got a semi rough, and then here I got a green, a fairway, a semi rough. And you can play with these if you want semi rough around your green. I could have outset my green with a semi rough instead. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do this. Okay, but you now you understand how you know to outset and how to join and how to create those. Um, I'm just going to remove that semi. And at this point, I'm going to send it through the cleanser to make sure it works. Uh, and you should too. Make sure you don't have any uh, things in cleanser. If you do have errors, uh, fix them.